Getting ready to head down to Dover, so getting all set. First things first, though, gotta drop some letters into the post box. Here you go, Here you go. congratulations. Our platform here at Canterbury East. Just waiting for the train to come. It's about a 30 minute drive from, uh, or a train ride from, uh, from Canterbury to uh, Dover. Please mind the gap between the platform and the train. <laughs> <laughs> a castle over there. Okay, off the trains. And made it to Dover Priory. Super simple cab ride up here. It was like seven pounds from the rail station. So definitely worth it versus a mile and a half. And we probably came up like 300 feet or something. Oh, the view of the sea, it's a yeah. long way long down. Long way down. Okay, we gotta jump in this long line. This is cool, it's a long way down. And this is a really big castle. Okay, we're gonna head to the uh, war tunnels first. She said go into the castle there and then go straight down. So we'll see how straight down goes. Like. How far down is it, Tamara? <laughs> I don't know, that's what, probably what, 70 feet? Oh, long way. Is this the Porticolis? This is extreme hilly. We have the whole castle to ourselves. This is excellent. It's Peveril, his gate. Dover Castle's laid out with the World War II tunnels and the 18th century tunnels nearest the cliffs. Then halfway up the hill is the Roman lighthouse and the Saxon church. Then finally at the top is the tower and the medieval castle complex and medieval tunnels. It's a good idea to start your day with the World War II tunnels where long limes form in the afternoon. The tunnels tell the story of Operation Dynamo, the evacuation of troops from Dunkirk, and also of its uses as an army hospital, a strategic outpost, and as a barracks during the Napoleonic Wars. Okay, we're out of the tunnels now, and uh, we weren't allowed to take pictures anywhere in there, but that was fantastic. I would definitely re uh, recommend that. Look, you can peek, get a glimpse of it in there, the generator house, but it's fantastic. Getting our obligatory coffee at the shop here. <laughs> on this terrace outside the tunnels. I think this is technically the White Cliffs of Dover here. We're seeing them without going any further. Snack time. Somebody dropped their keys over the side. Ooh, a long way down. Yeah, we're trying to find another way out that doesn't take us all the way up to the top of a cliff, but this is, this is the way. If you can't quite tackle the hills, a mobility bus is available. Traveling up takes you by a Roman lighthouse, a Saxon church, and Henry II's medieval fortress. St. Mary's sub Castro, or below the castle, dates to 1000 AD or earlier. The Roman pharos, or lighthouse, built in the early 2nd century, is one of only three surviving Roman lighthouses remaining in the world. Look, 
that looks like a, a moat. It's a scary. Drawbridge. It is, it's a real drawbridge. Whoa! <laughs> he said, be careful, I put my pole right through. Shortly after 1066, William the Conqueror would have originally built a Mott and Bailey structure on the site. If that looks like the White Tower in London, or the Tower of London, there's a good reason it was built about the same era. It's the same style castle, a Norman style castle here. It's a secret back way into the castle. <laughs> The current massive keep dates to 1180 in Henry II, who as a show of strength rebuilt the keep to impress French monarchs. Henry was grandson to William the Conqueror. His Angevin empire spanned most of England in western France, Norman possessions and those of his wife Eleanor of Aquitaine. Robin Hood fans will recognize his son Prince John and Richard the Lionhearted. Family squabbles led to actual military battles between sons, father, and wife. We're going in. Big doors. It's a rainwater tank right here, and they would catch uh, water from the roof and it would drip down into this like cistern thing. This is the throne room where we just met the queen sitting on her throne. Very nice queen. Thank you. Your Majesty. This is the secret passage to the Thomas Beckett Chapel. Shining in the glory of the Shets Chapel. Oh, here's the crown jewels. Yeah, Prince John was escaping England and uh, loaded up a ship full of the crown jewels and was escaping and these were lost into the wash. Devouring a snake. Yeah, the snake's getting eaten. Oh, the symbols on the ceiling um, signify virtues and vices or, or virtues that uh, Henry II would have wanted the people visiting to think of him for. Like this is Edward the Confessor giving a ring uh, to, to a poor person to show his generosity. And then these are all the vices and the virtues set against each other. Like multi stairwell. Oh, yeah, there's a breeze. What are we looking at? Over the throne. Oh, looking down on the throne. Oh, yeah. The vaulted ceilings in the throne room were added in the 1790s to support cannons on the roof. There's another fairy. Oh, there's the uh, Roman Tower, right? Mm -hmm. The lighthouse. lighthouse. Giant soup terrine or something. That was
was a super tour. I would definitely recommend going and touring uh, Dover Castle. It was really cool. And that the tower, it's similar to the Tower of London, but there's a lot less cod pieces. I hear that when the seagulls leave Dover Castle, Dover will fall. I better, they better tend to it. Okay, you found out about stamps this time. So how much did you pay for those? Um, so closer to the pound 50 that I paid in December. Okay, so not the 230. Not the you paid 230. Paid what was the, the 220? Office. Was that like a first class it's postage? First class so, later, so one pound 50 is a postcard stamp. Yeah, hopefully. It's tea time. And it is tea time. Dover cream tea. Oh, you got it. Oh, I love that. Trebuchet. Okay, we just heard behind us, maybe actually right there where you're looking, uh, maybe look through the tunnel there, is where the, uh, in 1216, the French breached the castle after it had been under siege. And so it's a pitched battle right in, the, in this courtyard. It's a long way down. It is a long way down. Mm -hmm. How did they breach the castle over there? That is craziness. Okay, we're waiting over here for our cab. This is kind of like the back side of the castle. It's the castle side entrance, not where the the war tunnels are. And the cabs drop you off right, right here. Kind of nice. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe.